They're doing roadworks directly outside my window. It's um, a little bit distracting, but we move. I have not been working as well as I want to in the last like couple of days. So today I'm getting back on the grind. I've got to do one chapter of my disc. First draft, so it doesn't need to be perfect, that's okay, but I just need to get something done. Then I want to do one full learning cycle of criminology work. I have one more seminar left of the year and because I'm in third year, that's my last ever seminar. It's actually crazy. I mean, it hasn't even gone very fast, but I just don't know what my life looks like outside of being in full-time education. So it's a little bit intimidating, but I'm excited. That's all to say. I have one more seminar in criminology and trusts. I want to put my best foot forward in them. I want to have done all the work necessary, go in there confident so I can get the most out of my last seminars. I want to rearrange my room a bit because although I'm enjoying some of it, I just feel like my clothes are not inspiring at all. Just the way they're laid out is just not cute. I want to do something about that. I also haven't been reading, so I want to be reading a bit more. It's so much easier to just go on your phone, but it feels so much worse and I know that. So I'm going to do some reading today. Still reading The Picture of Dorian Gray and it's still fantastic. Let's get started. There's no time like the bloody present. I finished for now. I downloaded a bunch of stuff to read and in that process have realised actually what I want to talk about more. I did a framework of the beginning of my chapter and I think that this one's probably going to be my longest one. I'm going to take a break, have some food. I don't know what I want but something fresh, something like vegetable-y. I went to the Oxo Tower for my mum's birthday and I had the most delicious cabbage I've ever had in my entire life there. It's just cabbage, salt, pepper, sesame oil and sriracha for some reason it was absolutely life-changing and i made it for lunch today it was honestly really good and so easy i just whacked it in the oven i don't even know how long for i just kept checking it and then season and boom done i relocated to my desk i actually never work here i'm gonna be so real i'm just a lot more comfy in my bed obviously but then I don't know, it's not really a work space. I don't want to make my bed the place where I should relax where I work as well. I'm going to learn to like working here. I'm going to light a candle, make it nice and homely, and then we're going to be doing criminology. <laughs> My next reading is 40 pages long and I've been staring at a screen for like an hour and a half so I'm thinking I will have a break and come back to this. 40 pages! And I know that's not that long but it's one out of like 12 readings that I have to do so it's fine. It's fine. I, I kind of just want to like lie in bed but I need to be disciplined because there's no way in hell I'm gonna ever want to do this, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna have to do it. Maybe I'll have a tea. That actually sounds really good. I'll make a tea. It's actually not too bad. Like substance wise, it's actually super interesting. This is the thing about law school though, I would say. People tend to think that law school is really hard and that law students work really hard. And this is true, but I think law students are given a lot more credit than's due. 
the content isn't hard like it's so interesting a lot at least for me it's interesting but there is so much of it just the sheer amount that they give us is what makes it hard let's get back to work shall we I'm done. I felt like my eyes were shutting in the middle of that reading. I don't know why it was such a struggle. It's now seven. I'm gonna have some dinner and then I'm gonna get on with my other things I was gonna do today. This needs sorting out. Here's the issue though. Things need to be done before I make this something I like looking at. I need to look at my other clothes and I thought well while I'm doing that I might as well do, I can't remember what the method's called, where you only keep what you love, spiritually love, and then you give everything else away with gratitude. I think that's probably the best way to go about it for this. Truly like what's the point of keeping things that I don't feel connected to? That makes no sense and someone else can enjoy them much more than I will be doing. By sorting out my stuff I'm gonna be able to put more stuff up here that makes me feel happy looking at it. I keep most of my stuff in this chest of drawers here. But I've got another chest of drawers over there that keeps my seasonal clothes, but that's not even true. I've got my prom dress in there and the last time I wore that, I was like 16 or 17. So I should just get rid of it and then use that space as something else. I think I've been chipping away at my room in terms of wanting it to look really nice. This whole space here, my bed used to be there and that was not cute, like that didn't look good. I moved that around, I've moved my desk area around a bit and so it's definitely been getting there but i'm by no means happy with it yet do you like my socks they're valentine's day edition so okay let's start shall we getting kind of late it's like half nine right now and i haven't done any reading yet today and i vowed to do this morning so let's i'm at chapter five right now you see in half an hour i can make it to like chapter seven I got to chapter seven. It's 
fantastic. I'm so excited to keep going on with it, but I had to stop because it's 10 past 10 and I need to get ready for bed. It's kind of early. I usually go to bed at like 12, but I want to start waking up earlier. So I'm going to try and go to bed at like 11. Today's been pretty good, especially since the last couple of days have been so slow. I'm happy that today I got out of it and I actually did so much. Not as much as I set out to do this morning. I said I was going to do a full chapter of my dissertation and an entire learning cycle. I don't know where I thought I was going to have the time to do that, but I made decent headway with the chapter and decent headway with the learning cycle. It's nice to feel like I've set myself up well and that tomorrow I'll thank myself for today for being a bit more ahead. It's been a long day, guys. I've been with you for 14 hours, maybe longer. I hope you've enjoyed my company. I've certainly enjoyed yours. As per usual, I've done a lot today and I think that I probably wouldn't have done as much if it weren't for you being here watching me. You guys make me want to show up and be the best version of myself so thank you for being there and coming back and watching me every week. I appreciate you more than you know. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Good night! Mm.